Well, Tourism Minister Lindiwe Sosulu has accepted the resignations of three SA Tourism Board members. It follows the public outcry over an almost one billion rand Tottenham Hotspur sponsorship deal. Sosulu says the process of appointing replacements is already underway. Joining us now, Tourism Minister spokesperson Steve Motale. Mr. Motale, good morning uh, to you. So the acceptance of the resignations, is the minister going to change her mind anytime soon about this deal? Uh, well, it's premature to uh, uh, get, get into that. What I can tell you and the viewers now at home is that the minister is in the next few hours meeting with the board where she's going to get all the facts and hopefully an announcement will be made after this meeting with the board today. And uh, one of the board members uh, resigning, I understand, because of moral issues. So I imagine this is going to be a fairly heated meeting. Give me a sense of the temperature in the department. Uh, are most people for it or against it? Uh, listen, uh, the, the resignations, I don't want to get into the reasons for the resignations, but uh, one or two of the mem board members who resigned, they re had received letters they were being investigated for improper conduct. So it might not be entirely related to the deal or it might be related to impro impropriety concerning the deal itself. So they've, there was letters served to them, and they chose to resign yeah. before the letters were enacted. They chose, to, be, they chose to resign before. Exactly. Exactly. Some would question the timing of those letters of uh, misconduct. No, no, the misconduct was there. Uh, so when there's a misconduct, as a proper, proper, proper institution committed to nipping in proper conduct in the bud. You have to act immediately and decisively. So no strings attached to it. It was just letters aimed at addressing uh, improper conduct. When were the letters issued? The letters were issued sometime, we are told, this week, yes. Again, it's the interesting with the timing of the sponsorship deal. So do we know if it's linked to uh, misconduct around this Tottenham Hotspur deal? Uh, I'm not sure, but those details will emerge after the minister's meeting with the board. So just bear with us. The meeting is the minister is meeting the board in the next few hours, into which is everything related to this deal. And I must confirm the urgent meeting that has been called between the minister and the board is strictly related to the deal. Uh, the country's president, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, also ANC president, Cyril Ramaphosa, doesn't believe this deal is justified. Why would the minister still go ahead and why would the board still go ahead if the president doesn't even think it's a good idea? Nobody said we are going ahead. But as I have indicated to you, the minister is meeting the board. Anything might come out of that board meeting. Mm -hmm. And let me put it on record that uh, President Ramaphosa hasn't spoken in person regarding this deal. We know there's a pending meeting between the minister and the president. We have seen those media reports, so we don't want to engage anybody from the presidency in a public spread via the media. That is not how we do things. We do things through official channels. Mm, I, I do understand. And I see as well that this could end up being a problem because acting uh, CEO for Tourism SA, uh, Tembo Kamala, I'm sure you watched the, the press briefing, uh, Mr. Motale, the other day saying that we are prepared for it. We're sticking to our strategy as well. So could there be problems between the minister and SA Tourism? No, no, uh, I think from judging from the engagements that we have had with the guys, uh, these guys are prepared for any engagement. So they might be persuaded otherwise. I'm not preempting the outcome of the meeting, but I'm saying they are open to persuasion. So just so I understand, as I say goodbye to you, there's going to be a meeting a little bit later uh, today, Mr. Motale. And as we sit here, you and I talking right now, this deal is not concluded. Is that what you're telling me? The deal has not been concluded, as SAT acting CEO himself has alluded. Nothing has been signed.